yeah youtubers i'm back again this is yet another edition um today i'll be taking you through how to install this school management system which is um, being developed by um ekato school management system which is version um 5.1.1 um developed by creative um item this is not my software this i bought it online um some few um days ago and this is their latest version that i bought and then today i'll be taking you through how to install it and then um to upgrade it to um the um the 5.1.1 and um that is what we'll be doing so you can see the software it's a nice software i like it it's a nice cool um management system it comes with um, a front end um website where you can click on it and then it takes you to that website and then um the good thing is uh, is that most of the things you do here as especially teachers and other things when you add them they start reflecting on um, the website and they will ask you whether if you want the teacher to um, actually reflect on the website so if i go to teachers and then um i come to add a new teacher yeah when i'm filling the form to the latter part of the form you see they'll ask me that um show on website and if i say yes then that means that basically that teacher profile will be shown on um the website and then um as well as some um, other informations you'll be filling alongside and then we have the front end where you can um, actually edit pages and then um, the teams of um, this particular um, school management system and currently they have only one team um, that um, they are working with and then we have um, the home slider we have um, privacy policy terms and conditions about and other things of um, you you can fill the general information see I haven't filled anything yet it's just fresh I installed haven't done anything yet so i'll be taking you through how to install this software and it only comes with um one team as um you can see the team this is the only team um it comes with so um basically after installing it um you can't um only have one team but that doesn't mean that you can modify the css you change the looks and other things if you know how to do that you are strongly welcome to do that because it's your product you bought it with your money and then you can rearrange um everything on the page if you know how to use css javascript and then um a little bit of things to do with and uh, replace with your own logo as you can see i replace with my own logo here if i log out it takes me to um the main front page and then um this is how the main um uh, my login page looks like and i've also replaced um, my login page with um uh, my own logo now if i want to visit on uh, my front page i can clear up the index and log and then hit on the enter key and that takes me to the website front page and then this is how the front page looks like so once you start adding information automatically some of the information will be appearing on this um front end and then for users and then um school management uh boss and other things to be able to visit as their school main website and the back end is what the school management system for the school itself to run um school activities based on school fees handling students information uh, um students taking assignments and reporting back and other things so all this thing has been done at the back end and the front end is what a full school management system so i downloaded this from my account and then i have it on my desktop i will extract it and then um on my desktop then whilst it's extracting um let me give you a, um, a simple tool a man came back from work and then um when he got home and sat down on the sofa the woman came and laced off um, his footwear so whilst he was lacing off his footwear um the son came out from the bedroom with um, a sheet of paper and handed it over to the father and said daddy i found this paper um for you and then he gave it to the father and the father collected it and the paper started reading mass 17 percent english um 23 percent science um nine percent and so forth and so on so the father is got angry easily and then started complaining what did you bring to me is it um what i've been paying your school fees for so the mother started um, begging and the dad said no it is because you always pamper him that is why he has spoiled like that if not because of your pampering this guy wouldn't have been spoiled so the mother said ah so is it because of my pampering the father said yes it's because of your pampering so um the mother started complaining and then the father also complaining so later um the guy apologized said daddy i'm so sorry that i got you angry but i found this paper um in your old cupboard when i was cleaning it and the dad took a look at um the paper and it was reading uh <laughs> 1980 and the dad said oh my son i'm actually sorry that uh, our time there was no food so that's why but, <laughs> but anyway yeah let's continue so my software has finished extracting i'll just copy it to my my root folder which i have in um 
my computer drive C and then I'll go to uh, my ZAMP folder then ATC docs are pasted there then um, it will move the whole software to that and on I'll launch it by visiting uh, my site folder which is some um, local host then I have what a cutter then I have enter then that will take me to the installation page and this is the installation page and the one good thing about um Ekato school management system is that um, um the purchase code is already integrated in the software and then you don't have any problem with purchase code once you buy it the purchase code is there and then you can go ahead with your installation one um purchase code two um database name three database user and so forth and so on so i hit on the start installation process and then all these files has been already been created so I'll go to next and then I have um, my database name so I'll enter a database name so let me pick um, my website name as my database name so I'll go to my local host and then my PHP admin to create a database so um, I have um, a database here then I right click and paste my name there and hit on create and then it has created a database so I'll go back to my installation folder then I'll enter my database name which I'll paste it again and then um, the username I want to use for this um, um, database installation on uh, my database level which is root and then my host is um, local host which is on my local computer then I hit on the continue next button to continue then it tells me that okay your database is successfully connected all you need to do now is to hit on the installation button or the install button and then automatically every SQL file will be installed so I hit on install and then it has started installing my database so right I'll pause here and then um, come back when um, the database installation is done because it will take a while to um, import the SQL files into the database so I'll pause here then come back when the installation is done all right so our installation is done and then um, we are now good to go by setting up our school name and then I'll go with my school name and then my admin username i'll go with my admin username and then the email address i'll be using to log in and that will be um this at gmail remember i told you all these informations are always um uh, sample information i use they are not my real information so please don't contact me on any of this email address as you're seeing it on screen no 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 don't do that so i'll click on the setup and then we'll proceed and then we are done so installation complete successfully and then please log in um, to continue um, administrator email address is this and then a password you have already seen it on screen so I'll click on login and then I'm on my login page so you can see with my own I replace this um, um, logo with my own logo which I did that so I can log in and then um, we have um login sorry um, it was Avanash not Atoms Avinash and um, we'll click on login and we are in right we are in and this is a whole software you are seeing this is the whole software now when you look at here um, we have um, a trial key that is already installed now we need to upgrade our software to um, a version 5.1.1 currently this is um, um, upgrade of um, five that we are using and uh, so we need to upgrade it to um, version 5.1.1 so how do we do that so we go ahead we'll come to um settings then we'll come to general settings and then it starts loading so general settings you need to fill your school details the more and then you can select a team of your choice and then um, you go ahead by uploading your logo so I'll click on the browse button and then I'll go to um, drive C then I'll go to ZAMP and then ATC docs and then I'll come down to um, um, Ekato and then I'll go to um, update pack and then the update pack I have um, 5.1.1 zip I'll click on it and click on open and then I'll click on install update so it's installing the updates so let's give it a few seconds and then update is done product updated successfully products updated successfully now if i go to the bottom right now you can see what is there copyright 2017 ekator school <coughs> manager 
version 5.1.1 developed by creative item you can see that's how easy it is to install um, a cattle school management system it's just easy you can buy it online um, just like i did and then install it it's a good software you can use it comes with so many teams you can um, use of your choice so i have a blue team here which i can click and automatically if you change my team to a blue team and then um if i want another team i can set another team and then automatically what is wrong come on set it on and then my team has taken effect so i can select another team and then automatically it will also take effect on um, my software so team has been taking effect so you can see the team so my team is selected and so forth and so on so i wish you all the best and then stay subscribe to my channel for more videos for you to learn and please please hit subscribe leave your comment like a video for more tutorials coming on your way i said i'm back with a microphone so don't worry i'm here i know my voice is not good but once it does the magic of teaching what you need to learn who cares nobody cares but anyway i was cooking in the kitchen just finished and then you are invited to my food yeah so good to go thank you